This video will show you how to configure the Hobo U30 station's optional analog inputs. You can see down here in the lower left hand corner of the Hoboware Pro page we have a Hobo U30 station connected to our USB port. So now we click launch device and we get the launch logger window where we can put in a description, we can see the battery level, and we can also see that under our sensors area we have two the two channel optional analog inputs attached. These are the logger is purchased with these installed. By default it comes configured a channel 1 for voltage, channel 2 for current. Uh, either one of these inputs can be configured for voltage or current. To configure the first channel, we ch we put a checkbox under the uh, right underneath the number one channel. We can put in a label if we wish, and we collect confi con select configure the sensor. We get the configure sensor window up here. If you have a sensor that you purchased from Onset, it's very possible that there is a pre-configured file already here that you can select, and it will configure your logger accordingly. Click on load and it gives you a list of all these sensors and all these pre-configured files. If it's not, if the, the sensor that you're using is not in this, you can click cancel and you can select your configuration manually. So what you can do is you select the sensor name, there's voltage and current, or if it's some other type of sensor, you can select custom and put that in and you can select to save it for the next time. You can also select if you want to select excitation power if you need to power the sensor. Excitation power is available at 12 volts DC to 50 milliamps. That's the maximum load. And you can select a warm-up time. A warm-up time. What the way the warm-up time works is that the number of seconds or milliseconds that you set for the warm-up is how long the sensor is powered before the logging interval happens, and then it goes back to sleep again. This really helps on conserving U30 battery power. You can also select continuous, which feeds 12 volts to the sensor continuously. Be very careful using continuous power, as it can drain your battery prematurely. Here you would select the measurement type, either voltage or current. Voltage, it can handle from 0 to 20 volts DC. Current, you can, it can handle 4 to 20 milliamps. Below you would put in what your raw input is. So for, for example, for a 4 to 20 milliamp signal, your raw value 1 would be 4. Your raw value 2 would be 20. And then for your scale, this would be your engineering, engineering units. This is how the data would be displayed. Again, you have volts, millivolts, amps, milliamps, or you can put in a custom name if, um, if it was, say, pressure or something um, you would might want to say PSI. And then you could say, okay, for this sensor, 0 PSI is 4 milliamps, 5 is 20 and then you click configure and it configures that channel accordingly and then your data will be presented as 0 to 5 PSI. For more information about using Hoboware and configuring Hobo data loggers you can get help in Hoboware by clicking on help, Hoboware help, consulting your Hoboware user's guide or go to our website onsetcomp.com. Thank you.